Uh, good evening. Um, you know, really proud of our guys for their effort against the team and the program. We have a and coach, staff, we have a ton of respect for. Uh, it probably gave us our, 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 our worst butt kicking of the season, um, you know, a few weeks back. Um, tough game, tough environment. It's my second time in this building. Came here with Colorado a few years back, and we got cracked. Um, you know, so really proud of our group for finding a way. Some tough circumstances, foul trouble. Uh, we got behind big on fouls in the second half, just finding a way to, to etch out the victory. So all that matters this time in the season is just, it's just finding a way to win. Questions for Jaden? Jaden, what did you guys think was the difference uh, in the second half there? Really our toughness. Um, that's really what it was. Um, getting back on in transition defense, they had a lot of fast break points in the first half, so we made a, our focus to kind of trying to shut that down in the second half, limit them to one shot, and get the rebound and go on the offensive end. Any more questions for Jaden? Uh, Jaden, uh, curious. Uh, they came out uh, pretty hot, and they took control of that game, especially late in the uh, first half. They take the 38-31 lead. What was the message at halftime for you guys to kind of regroup? Uh, really just a tougher team is going to win this game. Um, had to up, up our toughness to be ready to pull out a, a nice win on the road. I mean, it's always tough playing on the road. But to really play in this environment, it was, it was something. It took a lot of togetherness, a lot of um, shared purpose from the group, and we got it done. One more question, and that's about Devin. Obviously, he's a team leader. He's a scoring leader in the Big East. Um, but when he starts slow, you know, one for nine, he finds other ways to get, get it done like he did tonight. I think he had four blocks. Uh, he had a key assist in that first half. Can you talk about what your teammate Devin Carter does to get the team going, even when he's not scoring. I mean, he's always going to play hard. He's going to play hard, and we all just feed off of that. Um, he does things on the court that you can't teach. He just has um, special athletic abilities, and he's able to make up for plays sometimes that other people can't. So when he's going, he's not going offensively. He does other things. He gets styles, rebounds, and he's always uh, talking to us to just get us going. So we just feed off of that. Coach, uh, I guess I'll ask you the same question. You know, you, you see Devin do things, not necessarily you know, that gets him in the scoring column, but he does so many other things. I can think of that one assist that he dished in that first half uh, for a corner three, uh, even when he wasn't scoring. Can you talk about what he does like that? Yeah, the challenge is, just, and it's going to help him at the next level when he goes on, it's just make the right play. In this league with such great coaches, um, the attack, against us, against him, is going to be different every night. You know, so it's starting the game with the right mindset, right focus, seeing the game, feeling the game. And as much as we can, we want to help our guys go into the game, knowing what they're going to do. But sometimes it changes. It's just make the right decision. Um, and we tell our team, it's very simple. If you're open, shoot it. If you're not, pass it. When you pass it, cut. And I think we could play a full 40-minute game just on those principles alone. You were also down, I guess it was 61-54. Message to your team at that point and what you saw from your team. Was that early in the second half? Yeah, uh, midway through the second 61, half. 61-54, I don't know. Um, he, he just said we ended up our toughness. Xavier is one of the best, I think the best team in, in, in transition offense in the country. Um, you know, they had 19 fast break points tonight. They started a the game with like 12 straight. 12 of their first 17 was in, in transition. Um, we just had to up our toughness. We, we, you know, we know the way they play defensively. They're going to pack up the paint, so you're going to get open threes. You just have to have the intelligence and the discipline not to go in there and take wild shots. The teams that beat them, you know, Connecticut, uh, Creighton, they, they, they did a good job getting in there, being strong against the pressure, and kicking out and just trusting your shooters to make shots. Um, the Centos Center as an environment um, to the, the other arenas um, you played in the Big East? No, I think all, every venue we've played in has been, uh, it's incredible. I mean, Madison Square Garden was great. Centos is great. In Omaha, it's incredible. Uh, Marquette, I looked at Marquette the other day during their National Marquette Day. Um, I guess they have their own holiday. Um, it was 20,000. It was incredible. The amp is as good as Fog Allen. Um, 
the, the Butler is nostalgic. Is every venue, you know, you know, in this league, Coach Cooley's going to get it going at at Georgetown. Um, it's great. I've been here before, um, you know, and it was a really good team. Blew it. Uh, the kid from Minnesota, can't remember his name, Makura maybe. Is that his name? J.P. Makura. They, uh, it was special that day. It was good tonight. I was uh, the security guy lied to me. He said it would only be like six thousand in here. It wasn't. It was packed. Just one more for you. Um, how to what extent are you involved in in practice being um, a, a young coach like yourself? That's that could be an advantage in the Big East when someone with the the knowledge of a scouting report like yourself is able to kind of emulate the yeah, game. Yeah, I practice. Similarly. I practice. Um, and we're down numbers. You know, we have eight scholar, eight available players scholarship on this trip. Bryce is out. Uh, you know, Anton Bonks, red shirting, Justin Fernandez, torn ACL. We have two guys back home that are sick, uh, Donovan Santoro and Eli Delorier. So, yeah, I practice. Um, and, you know, I practice more when I feel like we're losing. I kind of take my frustration out on the guys sometimes. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. God bless. Yeah, I'll start. Um, Kim, uh, the, the con contributions maybe up and down your lineup tonight, maybe one of the best games, you know, from, you know, Barron in the first half to obviously Ticket at the very end. Castro was very good. Uh, can you put your finger on why or they were just, you know, ready to step up? Yeah, we talk, I mean, we talked about it. Our guys, we trust. It's, uh, you know, we don't put pressure on our guys to meet some – Honestly, it's like a media assumption of what, like, stepping up is, and it's something that's production every game. We just expect our guys to take what the game gives them, play your hardest, play defense, the best of your ability. Uh, when you're open shooting, when you're not passing, um, no one's going to beat Bryce Hopkins. You know, we're not expecting anyone to. It's just like, it's just this, like, fantastical question, who's going to be the third guy? You know, um, we just want our players to just play the right way. And um, I'm not surprised that Rich had 10 or, you know, uh, you know, Corey made some big time plays. And I'm not surprised at his 11 points. Um, those guys are good players. Slim with big time minutes off the bench. I really gave us a lift. And uh, you know, forget third guy. Again, you, you went deeper tonight. Pretty much everyone who played uh, helped out. Yeah, that's the expectation. I mean, at this level and beyond, everyone that is in this program that steps on the court, they have a, a job to do, and we expect them to do it, you know? Nick, Nick, hey, Chris, tell them to stay out for two minutes, two minutes, just two minutes, just two minutes. Kim, you got me? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Ian, I didn't right. No, you're good. You're good. Um for Ticket to miss that open three and then respond on the other end with the block, what does that say about his mental toughness? It's, 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 I mean, again, I don't, mindset's kind of taken off this little like, slogan, uh, you know, mark, it's not a marketing mechanism. Uh, it is a, it is a creed within our team. I um, mean, we're getting there. We don't have any lead mindset yet as a program, as individuals, but that is it. You know, he put his head down for a second, but we don't care about that missed shot. You know, we have a possession. The next play is the most important play. Um, big time, you know, block, rebound, and making the free throws. Um, that's why you don't get, get down too many times. I see it as a coach. I see a negative play affect, like, the next two, three plays. Um, it's something we got to get better at. I showed our guys a great clip of Baylor Shireman, the last play, of the half here, he gets elbowed in his head by uh, Abu Uzman, and he goes to the ground. And he just stands up, doesn't complain to the referee, doesn't look at his bench. He just walks. He just 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 goes to to to, to, to defense. So uh, to offense rather, but uh, we're just just keep uh, keep getting better. Kim, in in terms of you know playing without Josh, um, you know, and having him on the bench with the foul trouble, you got me. Sorry. No, no worries. Um, just with Josh and foul trouble, the way that your guys handled it that came into the game, Slim, you know, Jaden, guys like that, how do you feel like they handled it and how do you feel like it's sort of a sign of progress when maybe, you know, in mid-January it might not have been, you know, as handleable? Yeah, that was a big mistake by my part. I meant to get Josh out at the next media timeout when he had three. Uh, I didn't. Uh, 
he got his fourth with a lot of time left. That was all my fault. Um, but our guy stepped up. We went small with Ticket first, gave Slim another look, uh, and he did a great job. And Slim did a really good job catching the ball, finishing. I think he made a big time passing assist uh, to 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 Devin. Um, really proud of him. It's hard for guys not to play a ton of minutes. Uh, we're asking a lot out of Slim. Uh, and he stepped up and stepped up tonight. We was really proud of him. And with Jaden, too, up 17 points, uh, finding a shot obviously puts you ahead there late in the game. How much does his confidence just continue to, to rise here? You no, know, I think Jaden Pierre is sometimes he's such a good person, humble. I think he's a better player than he thinks. I think Jaden Pierre is so good. Like, I think Jaden Pierre could have had a, a seven for 14 night with Bryce. And Devin and Josh. Like I, I think there's no <clears throat> there's no limit on how good Jaden can be. There's no limit on the impact he can have on the game. He's a very special talent. Hey Kim, it's Brendan. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Um, how much did the the other guys allow you to buy time for jo for um, Josh Adaro sit on the bench there with the four fouls? Sometimes you're thinking we want you to key guys to the bench with four fouls. You're thinking. How long can I keep them on there? But the ability of the guys to kind of stem the tide and actually give you guys the lead there, that must have been huge for you in terms of uh, roster yeah. management. Yeah, well, they saved my butt because, you know, like I said, it was a mistake. Uh, I, I don't usually overreact to foul trouble two in the first, three in the second. I usually let the guys, I just tell them to be smart, let them play for a few more minutes, and then I take them up. Those guys saved me. Richard, uh, Corey, Slim, Garway, those guys saved me. Uh, tonight because, you know, if they didn't play well, you know, I would have been the GOAT for sure um, of, of why we, we we fell short. That was an uh, error on my part. So, But that's what the team does. They, 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 they pick each other up. And also, too, how much did we see, you know, uh, Ticket get more comfortable playing with the mask tonight? I know you, he played with the first time the other night. Just that play there at the end of the game, how much is that maybe a sign that he's getting more comfortable playing with the mask? Three practices, two games now. His shots will fall. They made a great play at the rim on an inbound play to lob. Uh, he'll make shots. He's a, he's so tough. He, he's, he is you know, one of the most resilient, tough players I've been around. It, it's different. He'll adjust to it. We have another one coming in tomorrow um, that he'll, he'll try out and, and see which one he likes better. But, you know, what mask you wear, you know, what whatever met metrics, it don't matter this time of the season. The only thing that matters – is going one and uh, bad game, good game, miss shots, make shots, you know, no foul calls, call, make, win the game. And, and that's the message in our group right now. Just go one and no every time we step on the court. Kim, uh, good win tonight, uh, good momentum going into the next game. Good or bad thing that you've got a week off now before the next one? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good for our guys to rest. We're getting into the groove now. It won't, it's not as long as it seems. We'll have tomorrow off with. You know, we'll get some work in Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, two days to prep, prepare, travel to Marquette to play um, one of the best teams in the country. Thanks. Tim, I, I wonder just generally how you approach NCAA tournament discussion. Is it something that you have in the open with the guys or with the staff, or, or is it just next game up and we go from there? Yeah, um, you know, all you can control is giving your best shot uh, one game at a time. Uh, that's it. Uh, and if you do want to play in a dance, because it is magical, um, you know, I went to four out of four as a college player. Uh, it's 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 the best basketball tournament ever created. Um, you know, if you want to play in it, you'll put everything else on the back burner and give all you have uh, for one game at a time for these next four. That, that's all you can do. I don't care about the prognosticators. I don't listen to what bracketologists say. All that stuff is it, it's fluff. The only thing that matters is us playing to our standards one game at a time. Thanks. Thanks, God bless. Ticket, can you just take us through uh, the, the, the last play? Uh, obviously, you guys needed to make a defensive play there, and you had to – Protect the rim as best you could. Oh uh, yeah, we know we know we uh in the final couple seconds of the game we switched to uh, to green, which is Josh will end up on a guard. We knew that. 
I uh, just wanted to be there for him. I knew so I had it going. He was going to try to attack that mismatch. So uh, I came over early, and I knew he wasn't passing when he got there. So I went straight up, and I was able to get the block. How, how was life with the mask tonight? Um, I, I'm I'm adjusted to it. It's fine. Uh, it's just part of the game, reality for me right now. So just in the gym, getting shots with it, and everything like that. And uh, but I'm I'm, I'm growing. I'm growing onto it. Uh, it's not not that bad. Mm -hmm. Ticket, you've been part of college basketball for a long time. Um, you know, just when you have a night where you're in some foul trouble, offensively you're struggling a little bit, how important is it just to stick with it every single play, every single second? And then obviously, you know, you have the opportunity there at the end. Uh, like you said, I, I've, I've had any game you can think about, I think I've had. I have a great offensive game, a bad defensive game, a great defensive game, bad offensive game. It's all about just sticking with it. Uh, my teammates kept kept giving me confidence throughout the whole game. Uh that was the biggest thing for me, personally. Uh, I missed I missed those shots, a couple wide open ones I thought I should have made, and it is right in my ear telling me like keep shooting, we with you. Uh, but just just sticking with it, like everything that's gonna go your way, and definitely when you're not making shots, so uh, you have to find something else to do. And uh, coach put me back in for the last two minutes. And I was able able to make a couple plays uh, that that helped us out. And just how about some of the guys that stepped up with with Josh and foul trouble and and on the bench? You know, guys like Jaden Slim comes in, gives you good minutes. Like, how much is that a sign of progress that you're able to sort of weather the storm there? Uh, that just shows the testament of how how our team get everybody's ready, getting better. Uh, I think Slim had a great game tonight. He did, he might not think it, but uh, everyone has been telling him he had a great game. Uh, he came down and held it down, got a couple assists, rebounds, dunks, and that's what we need. We needed someone to come in and uh. And not do nothing, nothing crazy, but be, be solid for us uh, as we as we go into that little stretch where me and Josh are in foul trouble. Uh, Rich made some big shots, two big threes in that second half. And uh, JP, I think he made two threes in a row uh, with a great pass from Dev off one. And I can't remember the second one, but I think, like I said, it's just a testament to our guys growing with each other. Everybody kind of comes over each other's game and trusting each other because we need each other uh, going down this final stretch. It's going to be big for everybody to step up because we might have games where, where people is in foul trouble and, and guys who – who won't play in certain moments have to play. And uh, I think they get a great job tonight. So I credit to them, Corey Floyd too. I don't want to leave him out because he had a great game on the glass, uh, helping us out rebounds, making knocking down some free throws. But the guys who stepped up for for me and Josh, uh, they did a great job. And uh, we appreciate them. And uh, we, won't, we don't win this game without them. Ticket, can you describe the roller coaster of emotions maybe or whatever you were feeling at the time between the missed three, the timeout, and then the block? Uh, uh, like I said, I was upset that I missed that three. I thought I should have made it. <clears throat> but going into that timeout, my teammates just told, like I was walking away to the side. My teammates just grabbed me, brought me into the huddle and said, lock in, uh, get this stop. Like, it don't matter. Shoot the next one, things like that. But uh, I definitely definitely was a little – thought I should have made it. I thought I should have made that shot. Uh, but I think that I give credit to my teammates for keeping me engaged. Uh, and I kind of kind of flipped the switch out of that timeout, uh, knowing we had to get a stop. And uh, like I said, I knew we were in green. I knew Josh was going to be on the guard. So I just wanted to be there for my teammates and make the best play I can, and I was able to come down with the block. Any more questions? Yeah, real Guys. quick. Oh, sorry, Arthur. Um, Ticket, you have stickers on your mask that yeah. have people's names on them or something. What do they say, and why are they there? Uh, one one side says Neil, which is my uncle who passed away a couple of years ago from COVID. Uh, was one of the people who raised me. Uh, so, yeah, he passed away a couple years ago. And then the other side is my grandparents. They say Z plus R, which is Zona Dean plus Robert Leonard, which is my grandparents who passed away uh, before I got to college. So uh, just playing for them. I mean, they, have, they haven't got to see me play in college. They supported me my whole high school career up until prep school. And then, unfortunately, uh, my grandparents passed away early. And then my, my uncle, Neil, passed away uh, in 2020, I think, uh, from COVID. So just just the memory of them, playing for them, just know that it's bigger than me. Appreciate you sharing that ticket. Thank you. Appreciate it.